Hi, my name is Rawan Qubrusi. I graduated from SED in 2013 with an MSc. The first thing I did after graduating was actually jump around the streets of London. And afterwards, I went back home to Amman, Jordan and started working at Dial Group, one of the biggest offices in Amman. We both finished uh, the MR in February 2014. Uh, after we finished the master, we started working for uh, a job quite quickly. It was quite quick because in one month I got my job which I have in USP. I'm really satisfied about it uh, because I'm doing exactly what I've been studying We finished the Master of Science in Sustainable Environmental Design in September of 2013. And since then I've been here as a teaching assistant helping with the tools and the, the software. And hopefully I can help a bit with the knowledge I acquired. After finishing the Master I was happy to join Wilkinsoner Architects. It's a 200 people architectural practice based here in London and having projects worldwide. I'm currently a member of a 25-people team. We are taking part in the Battles Power Station Regeneration. It's quite challenging to see how can one implement all the principles of sustainability in such a large-scale project, especially when it comes to an iconic building. I finished my Master in Science in September 2013. After that, I stayed in London for two weeks, then I traveled for another couple of weeks around Europe. Then, I came back to Colombia where I started my own practice as an architect and environmental consultant. I'm very happy I was able to do this. In my case, after the master, I went back home and I got married. Um, then, um, then afterwards, I started doing my portfolio. And after the portfolio, I found a job in Avanti as an architectural practice. And I'm, I'm very happy <laughs> working there. Um, I graduated from the master in architecture in February 2013 uh, and after that, uh, within a month or so, I started applying for jobs and I think it took around six weeks to find a job like so uh, the company that I'm working at the moment had to grow one month to, to apply for my application but it was a, sort of a slower market at the moment <laughs> um, but it was quite good uh, the company is called PRP Architects um, there are around 200 people yeah, focusing on uh, urban regeneration and affordable housing. <laughs> uh, I, have, um, I started to work in April, so that was quite fast. Um, working as a consultant, so a microclimate consultant at WSP. Um, what I do is that I work like with huge master plans and making sure that daylight is okay and wind environment is okay. So it's pretty much what I used to do here. So the master was actually quite helpful for me to develop my profession. My name is Jonathan Zanian. I graduated from the SCP program at EAA a year ago in 2013. Since then I founded Studio Adapt where I develop architectural designs that go beyond green buildings toward a more responsive architectural approach in different scales. I graduated this February 2014 and now I'm working for Make Architect. The culture of Make is about um, to be responsible architects and to consider all the environmental issues from the very beginning of the design stages. Uh, that's why I think uh, what I learned uh, at AA, at, at ICET, really helped me to integrate these considerations in design. Uh, completing this master has offered me a, a deep understanding of environmental design principles and a firm knowledge of the sustainability, um, giving me all that I need in order to inform my design solutions at all stages. The knowledge that I gained through the masters helped me in two ways. First, to uh, change my way of uh, approaching design, and on the other side, the technical knowledge to help me being able to cooperate better with all the consultants and environmental analysts that are being involved in the project. The SED program changed the way I think about architecture and re-established the relationship in 
my mind between buildings, the environment and their occupants and I'm very grateful for that. SED gave me the knowledge and tools that nowadays are always part of my designs, but also increased my opportunities because sustainability is an area of increasing interest in many projects here in Colombia. The future plans, I think, whether you want it or not, you're going to have that environmental back background because you cannot ignore the knowledge that you have. So, no matter what I do, I think I will be an environmental designer. And yes, of course, I would like to. <laughs> yes. Uh, I would like to, to be involved in the academic world as well because uh, it just works very differently from research. My interest right now is about um, parametrical studies and environmental design in order to apply uh, design changes and see how they respond within the performance quite fast. So to see how a design can really be developed step by step with the environmental tools. And I also give lectures in different symposiums, conferences and leading workshops to different audiences in Israel and abroad, such as the Smart Building Skins workshop in Tel Aviv or the upcoming lecture I plan to give in the next PLEA convention in India where I'll be introducing a paper best based on my dissertation. As my interest um, grew in sustainability thanks to this master, I'm also planning to do some research in sustainable environmental design. And yes, and during the master we had the chance to meet all this international bunch of people and we still keep uh, in touch with each other and it was a great experience. Yeah. My research and uh, dissertation topic was actually very intriguing and interesting that helped me get this job in just four months. However, I don't really like what I'm doing right now because it's pushing me away from the principles and knowledge that I learned along the course. And I would I really like to work uh, more, uh, more in the research of SED because after sustainable environmental design course, I started looking at architecture differently. Thank you. Baby, you make this world Baby, you make this world Baby, you